Yeah, let's continue reading. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Are you two ready? I don't know why I am making the one. I'm the one making the winning, raining noises. Oh, just calling Zane hot. We. What's wrong? You're not shy, are you? Don't worry. I'll be right there oh, with you every step of the way. I won't let anything bad happen. No, oh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be. Oh, okay. Let me show you. Let me let Daddy show you how it's done. Merry drown you. We come bearing gifts from Saint Starfall. <gasps> Saint Starfall! Yay, presents! All right, everyone, line up and wait your turn. Yes, Mr. Reindeer. Here you are, Merry Dragon Yule. Thanks. Now you try. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, they're adorable. I've never seen a Dragon Saint Starfall before. Well, I'll be darned. Dragon's delivering presents, just like in Ilya's day. Thank you kindly. Thank you, Saint Starfall. Well, now that went quite well, would you say? Blink, blink. Are you dressed as a reindeer, young man? That's right. Ah, marvelous. And how lucky to be towing such sweet little Saint Starfalls. We're very fortunate to be visited by such kind and devoted dragons. Thank you. <laughs> We're just happy to be of service. Though I admit it warms my heart to hear you praise them. More than ever being praised. More than even. I'm sorry, I can read, I swear. Being praised myself. <laughs> my, what a loving father. <laughs> yes, well. Hmm? Who is this homeless... Homely looking child, decrepit child, polluting the presence of my dragons. Huh? Are you giving me a present? Squeak! Thanks, but uh, I, I don't. I don't deserve it. Why do you say that? Saint Starfall only gives presents to good children. Is that so? What kind of possibly bad thing could you have done? Oh, you know, I, 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 uh, I, uh, stabbed some people when in their sleep. Oh, hey, wait, yeah, hey, what, do, how do you not know that? Um, I, uh, I was simply testing your knowledge. <laughs> mm. So, you think you've been bad, then, hmm? So bad that you don't deserve presents? Yeah, I had a big fight with my dad, and I stabbed him in his sleep. I said some really nasty stuff I didn't even mean, and uh, when he was going to bed, I uh, when he wasn't looking, I... Are you even listening? I don't deserve any presents. Based on what we just heard, you very much do, says Stain Starfall. Wh what? You said some unpleasant things to your father, which you know was bad, and... You did some unpleasant things when he was going to bed, which was also bad. Yeah. But you see, the fact that you're aware of that means you're a good person at heart, so it doesn't matter how many people you've killed in their sleep or how many people you stabbed with the knife. It just, uh, even if you're aware of that, that's what counts, right? It does. Very much so. <laughs> so you should feel no shame accepting these presents. Okay, but wh why are you giving me two? Oh, well, one for you and one for your dead father, of course. <laughs> what is for? Wait, oh shoot, no. Oh, we got disconnected again. Hold on. <laughs> What is for you? And what the other is for your father. You should give it to him and make things right. <laughs> make things right at his tombstone. Why don't you go along? I, 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 okay. I'll give, I'll give him this at his graveyard, at his tombstone, and apologize right now. I guess there are really all good dragons. 
What did he mean by that? Wait, surely he didn't mean literally that he stabbed his father? <laughs> that boy didn't say anything unpleasant to you, did he? Oh, thank goodness our little saint Starfalls are safe. We talked for a while, but he was nothing but kind. Why? You see, the boy's father doesn't think very highly of dragons, and he no longer does because he's no longer with us. I heard he's been raising his son to feel the same, which is simply awful. I see. Well then, maybe it was a good thing that he was stabbed. His father goes beyond disliking dragons. I'm afraid I've heard some terrible things leave his lips in town. He seems to think they all need to be wiped out. Can you believe that? Oh, it gets worse. Apparently they both belong to the dragon-killing Cyril tribe? What, what did you just say? Maybe we really need to stab him for real. The Cyril tribe, dear. No. Not the Cyro tribe. Are you all right, lad? You've gone deathly pale. I know that name all too well. Those monsters murdered my tribe. Oh, along with Felix and Fidden's parents. Oh, the plot thickens. Tune in on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z.